Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to create uh, what I'm terming a Vox Pop video. Um, before you watch this video, if you're a total beginner to this program, I highly recommend that you watch two other videos that I've created first. One is about how to set up a new project in this program. The second is uh, a basic introduction to the layout of this program and also some keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to assume that you've watched both those videos and have a uh, basic understanding of how this program looks and operates um, and we'll build on that to create a box pop video um, so I have actually created one here uh, using some publicly available uh, footage from AP um, it shows uh, some people in at Coney Island, New York, uh, swimming on the first day of the year um, in what I assume is some very cold waters. Um, but I have cut it all up and made a Vox Pop video in the style of like a social media style news video. Um, so I'm going to play it to you first and then we'll go through each of the individual elements. Part of this tradition is you cleanse off last year, and it's like a baptism, and you start the new year afresh. Right, Noel? Right on. So there you have it. Uh, it's a very basic uh, Vox Pop video. Um, what we have in this in terms of elements is we have a couple of interviews, which I'm terming Vox Pops. Um, we also have some overlays so some general shots of the crowd and also uh, there's some graphics that I made text graphics uh, the first text graphic kind of poses a question uh, and the second text graphic just gives some more information of what the people are doing and then finally uh, I also added a music track to it which you will often find for social media news videos. Uh, generally, if this was a television news video, it wouldn't have a music track to it. Um, so I'm going to go through how to create all of those elements so you can do the same with your own Vox Pop video. And I'll, just to make it a bit easier, I'll split this into three parts. Firstly, let's focus on the structure of the video. Then let's look at how to create some text graphics and then finally let's look at audio. Okay so what I've done is I've created a brand new project from scratch um, and I'm going to first show you how the structure of that Vox Pop video can be created. So once you've set up your new project uh, just make sure you're in the editing tab here. There's lots of different layout tabs but we want to be in editing to begin with and as you can see I have created some folders called video and audio and I've put all my individual elements for this project in there. Um, there's only two elements. Uh, because this is a very basic project. Uh, so here is the video file, um, and this is actually the raw vision of that AP story, um, and it has everything in it. Um, so I've just dragged that over to the timeline, and um, basically if, if I press space on the keyboard, we can play and see what was shot. Um, I can also grab this uh, blue bar up the top here, and drag it to get a much faster scrub. So we can go through and see what's there. There's the overlay, there's the box pops, um, and it keeps going. Um, so in order to get a better view of what's going on, I recommend starting to use the minus and plus buttons on the keyboard. That's your zoom in and out. So I can zoom out to get some more space, to drag this along to see further. Um, another really handy tip is also, um, and this will become very important when we get to, oh, that's lovely. Um, <laughs> this is get very, uh, very important when we get to audio is that I like to actually see my audio wavelengths. Um, basically the top part of this uh, uh, shape is the video, the bottom part is the audio, and I really like to see what's going on there with the audio. The way you do that is get this cursor and move it between A1 and A2 and drag it down and you start to actually see those uh, waveforms and you can make more precise cuts. So I highly recommend you do that as well. Okay, so in terms of structure, uh, as you saw in my uh, the previous uh, edit that I did, I went one shot of overlay, 
two Vox Pops, one shot of overlay. Um, I'm actually going to start by getting the Vox Pops first and then doing the overlay second. So if I drag through here, um, I liked this lady's response. So I'm going to have her as my first Vox Pop. So let's just listen to what she says. I'm going to press space again. It's fabulous and freezing all at once. Because <laughs> it makes you feel alive. And it's a wonderful way to bring in the new year. Um, so her response is uh, a little long. There's two separate parts to it. I actually like the second part more, where she says, uh, because it makes you feel alive. Um, because that said actual response to the question, which I assume is something along the lines of, why are you doing this? Um, that gives me a really good opening text to use, so I can pose a question in my text and then she can immediately respond to that question. Um, so let's start her grab there. You have to get very precise in terms of uh, the start because I'm cutting, I'm cutting her response in half basically. So I'm going to use that plus sign, zoom in, and then let's see where this grab starts. So she says, because... I think, I'm going to zoom right in, I think she says because around here. <laughs> it makes yeah, it's about there. So I'm going to move this about there and I go and click on the razor tool over here and that allows me to make cuts. So if I just click here, I'm going to cut that clip in two. I now have this side and that side and her grab should start on this side. So delete that side. I select it and press delete. And then press space. Because it makes you feel alive. Perfect. Um, let's go back. Because it makes you feel alive. There we go. So that's the start of my grab. Uh, let's get and clean up the end. Bring in the new year. Okay, and I want to cut about there. Uh, I don't want to cut on them. I still want her in shot. So. Um, another way to get very precise with your cuts is you can use the keyboard keys of left and right arrows. This goes frame by frame. So I'm going to get to the final frame of her, get that razor tool again, make a cut, go back to my selection tool, and I can move this first grab around. Let's go and find the second grab, exactly the same process. There it is. So I'm going to go frame by frame to get him right at the start, get the razor, cut, get rid of the part that I don't want, delete, let's press play. The best part of this tradition is you cleanse off last year and it's like a baptism and you start the new year afresh, right Noel? Yeah. Right now. From Brooklyn, New York, baby. Okay, I'm going to stop him there before he says from Brooklyn, New York, because I think it's going on a bit too long. I think I'll end the grab with right on. A fresh, right now, right now. Stop there. Get my razor tool, make a cut. I'll delete the other side. And so then I've got my two grabs here, and I'm just going to move them together. And so it should go from her to him uh, pretty smoothly, I hope. Bring in the new year. Best part of this tradition. Not too bad. All right, uh, so they're my two grabs that are going to go in the middle of my story. Now I just want some overlay shots at the start and at the end to tell the story. So again, I'm going to drag in the raw footage over here again and go through it and find an opening shot. Now, a really good opening shot is one that's going to capture your audience's attention, particularly important in social media because um, people make a decision to watch a social media video often just based on the first thing that they see. So it's really important you get a really, really um, interesting or exciting first shot there. I think a polar bear walking, walking into the ocean is pretty good. Um, I also like this couple dancing in the water. I think that is very New Year's. So I am actually going to go with that one. So it's exactly the same process as before. We need to isolate this overlay shot. So I'm going to use the frame by frame to get to the start of that shot. Razor tool, cut, pointer tool, select what I don't want, press delete, press play. The best part of and frame, frame, frame to the left, get right to the final shot there, cut it again, and there is my opening shot, all isolated. I'll move that to the start of the story. 
And then let's get a final shot, uh, which I was happy just with this as a final shot. So I will start that final shot there. Um, and just to show you, uh, I've been using this razor tool, but there is another way that you can make cuts pretty easily. Um, and that's just getting the cursor going to the start of a clip and you'll see that it transitions to red. You can actually just grab that and drag it back. So sometimes that's a faster way to make a cut. Um, and yeah, so this is gonna be my final shot. I will drag that to the end of my clip and then I'll get all of them. So I just click and drag to select everything and put it to the start of my timeline. So that should be my basic structure. Let's just have a quick look. Press play. Opening shot. Because it makes you feel alive. First grab. Best part of this tradition. Second grab. Closing shot. Pretty happy with that structure. Okay, so um, I will come back in ne the next videos to explain how to make graphics and also how to correct audio.